or 7 degrees Celsius, wind direction is going to be westerly and the wind speed is 8 miles an hour. Okay, uh, going back to the traffic one more time, we've been told that the northbound uh, lane, lane 86 is particularly difficult at the moment, so please take a great deal of care as you approach that one. So that's the information we have for you at the moment. Coming up later today, we have all our regular programs and we have got a brand new competition which we'll tell you about after this. Just once I'd like to get ready. I'm fucking coming! Don't bloody start. That's supposed to be working today. You and your favours. It's a wave. It's a favour for my wife. Whatever. I take it we're getting paid. Oh yes. Well, that's okay then. Can I get some breakfast? You paying? I'm paying. Okay then. So what's the plan? Well, we get the keys and we get the furniture, or half the furniture. Half? Yeah, it's a divorce or separation or some dumb thing. You think the guy will help us? <laughs> you must be kidding. I spoke to him on the phone and he was pissed out of his brain. Oh, he won't be shit-faced today, will he? Oh, you better believe it. Oh, I fucking hate drunk people. Hey, give the guy a break. His wife's run off with some younger guy and I can't be nice. I suppose. This is the guy. What guy? The guy we're meant to be going to see. I mean, 
I've only met him the once before, and his face wasn't quite as fucked as it is now, but I'm telling you, this is the guy. What was he trying to do? Commit suicide? Nah. He's just drunk. I can smell it on him. So what we're going to do? Well, look. He's still breathing. We're going to have to try and get him to a hospital. Have you got a mobile phone? No. Have you? No. I've been telling you to get one for ages. In that case, we're definitely going to have to get him to a hospital. This guy is not well. I don't think he's breathing! Hold on, I think this is the way back to the main road. What happened? Look at his leg. He must have gotten caught in the netting. How? Oh, I mean, for fuck's sake, how? Poor bugger, look at the state of his face. Never mind his face, you doping bastards. Is he still alive? How the fuck do I know? Oh boy. Now listen, he's still breathing. Help me. Where are we going? We're going to take him to a hospital. Are you mental? Look, this one's still alive. You get in the back. Oh, they're going back in there. Fine. Just help me, though. I'm telling you, those guys are dead. We're still going to need a hospital. Why? Because we can't just drop them off at a fucking morgue like two pints of milk. We might have to give a statement or something. Police? Maybe. Oh, bloody hell. Here's the garage. I'm pulling in. Oh, for fuck's sake. Right. I'm going to see if there's anybody there. Hello? Hello, is there anybody here? Hello? Look, I need some help back here. I've got, I've got problems. Is there anybody here? Fuck's sake. Calm down. Calm down, mate. Calm down. Just gonna think. Oh, fuck me. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I know where that is. Taking a boat in. So what? 
fuck. No, not you. Ah, fuck up. I fell over. You fell? And did this? I didn't fucking mean it. Get him in the car. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. Go side, side. Look, get in the back of the van. No! Get in the back of the van for fuck's sake and check them out. Oh fucking hell! Come in a van full of corpses. Come in a van full of fucking corpses! Get a grip. Shut the fuck up. Stop a van! No! Stop a fucking van! Jeez, I'm fucking dead! Holy shit! Jesus fucking Christ almighty! The fuck am I going to do now? Hang on, where are you Ronnie boy! Ronnie! Ronnie boy, come back! Back to the final death! No way! Ronnie! Ronnie! But we can fix this. I mean, we haven't done anything wrong yet. <laughs> Look, why don't you just come back and we'll fix it up? You promise? Yeah, I promise. Fuck. Oh, Jesus. What's happened? I mean, what the fuck is going on today? Why can't people stop dying in our fucking van? Hey, we're not taking this one with us. He's got blood all over his face. Well, so what? Well, so, when people have heart attacks, their faces don't normally burst like that. Now, if we leave him here, somebody's going to get suspicious, they're going to contact the police. The police are going to catch us with a van full of corpses, they're going to match the blood on him to the blood on these guys. And they're going to put two and two together and come up with 30. 30? Yeah. 30 years each. But we didn't do it! <laughs> I remember to tell them up and they chuck us in the hole. Ah, well they don't do that anymore. They will with us, mate. So what are we going to do? Well, we're going to get the fuck out of here for starters. What about him? He's coming with us. Oh, fuck. <coughs> Take him, miss me. Oh, bastard. Hold on, Ronnie. We're going to have to get this blood to get off. for you.
We're going to prison. No, I'm not. It's all right for you. You're old. <laughs> Thanks. I'm young. I'm cute. Ronnie, you have many things, but fucking cute isn't one of them. But I'm not hard, am I? So? So I'll be Mr. Big's little weekend treat, won't I? <laughs> A little? All right, I'll be his big fucking treat then. Oh, will you please just calm down? Fuck them bugger, that's me. We're not going to prison. What about the bodies? We're going to dump them. We can't do that. Why not? Well, these people have got families. Hey, so do I. Yeah, I know you have. A wife and two sons. Two daughters. Two daughters. It's nice to know you're listening to me. If I listened to you, we'd be dumping the bloody bodies. Look, what else can we do? Exactly. We can't do it. Look, it's them or us, and they're already fucked. Fair point. So, what do you think? How do we do it? Perfect. What for? We ram up those black bags, with them down with rocks, get them over, end a story, end a nightmare. No, I don't like it. I don't fucking like it either. Get some rocks. Oh, this is disgusting. Okay. Here we go. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. For fuck's sake, Ronnie. Hang on. Do you know what we're doing here? Yeah. We get caught at this point in time, we really are screwed. I just thought... You thought what? I just thought we should maybe say something. <laughs> like what? I don't fucking know. Okay, okay. How about... Oh God. We really are sorry for killing this fucking guy. Now let's do it. One, One two, two, five! There's no dump in here. What the fuck? What the hell are you two up to? It's not what it looks like. No, keep the fuck away. Just fuck let's off. Get back. Fuck away. Wait, Wait, don't you ah! Oh, God. Ah! Fuck you. Oh, fucking ah! <laughs> That was your fault. How? How? It's fucking prattling on about saying something when we should have just have fucking done it. Well, it wasn't my fucking stupid plan. No! <laughs> God. We shouldn't have touched them. Why not? Fingerprints. Fingerprints are all over them now. Is he definitely dead? Don't keep touching him. What the hell did I just say? I'm sorry. Now what? Look at the water. What about it? Well, from this angle, you can see the bottom. They'll find the bodies even before we go back home. So? <laughs> So let's recap. We had four bodies. We tried to get rid of one. Now we've got five. So what are we going to do? Well, we think very carefully about what we try and do next.
There must be a way out of this, there must be. How? I don't know. I can't think like this. It smells terrible. I know what you mean. We need to stop. We can't. Why not? Because if we stop, we'll kill someone. Oh, we won't. We'll just be careful. Anyway, we've only got a few. Okay. Now look, keep an eye out. If anything looks dangerous, we'll just move on. Looks okay. Suppose we set a fire to the van. They'd still be able to identify it. They'd come looking for me eventually. Oh, we could drive it over a cliff. Nah. We need to get rid of everything so it'll never be found. Well, let's bury them. If it bury six people. I don't fancy that. Well, it can't be worse than throwing them in the river. Maybe. What we do is, right? We'll find a big forest, drive as deep into it as we can, and bury the lot. You know, you've got a real dark side to you, you know that? Well, what do you think then? I think if we get caught burying people, we'll have a real job talking our way out of it, that's what I think. So let's not get caught. What, with the luck we've been having today? Look, are we going with the Ronnie plan or not? I don't see what else we can do. Okay. Andy? Andy? Oh, I don't believe this fucking day. Oh, Jesus. Talk to me! Look, what do you want me to say? Okay, now we're fucked. We can still get away. What, go on the run? With a van full of corpses? We can hide. Hide? Ronnie, those women are now contacting the police. They're going to be here in about three or four minutes. So we're just going to sit here and wait for them to come? That's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to sit here and wait for the police to come. I don't want to go to jail. You're not going to go to jail. Why not? Because we didn't do anything wrong. I'm not following you. Look, we didn't do anything wrong. This is it's just been one big mistake. So what do we do now? We tell the truth. Are you fucking nuts? We tell the truth. If we tell the truth, they'll lock us up. Not if they believe us. Why would they believe us? Because we'll be telling the truth. Fuck me, this is never going to work. Look, Ronnie, if we lie, our stories are going to be different. Then we're really screwed, right? Right. But if we tell the truth, just the facts, then we might be okay. I might be. Well, it's better than nothing. Look, why don't we just run? You've already said that. But I mean it. Look, pick a direction and go. And never look back, I suppose. Exactly. Forget the past. Forget today. Just, just run and hide. See who lasts the longest. Look, every cop in Scotland is going to be looking for us. Well, let's go to England. I'm not sure if things are that bad. Well, Spain then. France, maybe. It's a bit hard on the kids, though. I don't have any kids. No, but I do. And you've got a mother. Yeah, a great mother. It's a bit hard on her just running off like that. Nah. People are bound to think we're guilty just because we ran. Oh, well, that's true. Besides, I don't like the idea of hiding, changing my name, growing a beard, all that pish. And sooner or later, they're bound to catch us. But this way, this way we get to tell the truth. My wife will believe me. You think? Yeah, of course she would. Well, probably. Either way, it's better than half thinking I did it and run off with you. Ah, uh, right. So, we put our faith in British justice? No. Scottish justice. Scottish justice. Their dead eyes look directly at the jury. The court was silent as the foreman rose. The jury looked pale and exhausted, which is understandable given the amount of disturbing material they've had to look at. 
In the end, though, the judgment was unanimous.